So we are back with another Q-Tip Fridays. The holidays is definitely taking a toll on a lot of people at the moment. It's um a lot of things coming up, a lot of craziness this entire month right here. So it's been kind of hard to get a balance and you know make my videos and that kind of stuff. But I'm in Cali right now, hanging out. You know what I'm saying? Um, dope concert last night, but I gotta get it in. You know what I'm saying? And today's Q-Tip topics. Today, today's Q-Tip topic is um, it's called multiple streams of income will not guarantee that you will be rich. Now, what does that mean? It means a lot, honestly. The gist of it says, don't waste your time with certain things. The gist of it says, you know, don't feel like you have to create all 10 different streams of income to, to feel satisfied with what you have going on. So, my thoughts on that is, obviously, multiple streams of income is the way to go. That's common sense, personally. Um, common sense as far as if you're depending on one job the entire time. That job is making you $20,000 a year. That's all that you're dependent on. All right? All of a sudden, things are slow, and now that, that one job is now producing you $12,000 a year. That job is not really dependable as you thought because it could actually de decrease. So that decrease is supposed to be made up by these other streams of income, right? Which means that you don't have to actually depend on one job per se because you have other things that could pretty much back that up if things go wrong, okay? So, it's better. So that says this. I believe that... um. Create income, create streams of income that pretty much makes sense. As far as don't actually try to bust your ass to create, let's say, a stream of income that only produces, let's say, for example, a thousand dollars a month. But you try to create six of those. You're really if you have to really bust your ass to pretty much create six different streams of income that only produces a thousand dollars that's a lot that's a lot of work that's a lot of work i don't feel like it's worth it personally because it's a lot, it's pretty draining to actually create one stream of income so to actually bust your ass to create six of those that's not really doing much i don't know i don't think it's worth it much personally that's what like uh let's say six thousand dollars a month times 12 that's seventy two thousand for six different streams, I don't feel like it's worth it. I feel like, you know, you gotta pretty much focus on, on one stream of income, that's gonna be your, your your main stream, as far as the main money train. Beyond that, you could pretty much create trickle streams that pretty much create to you a couple thousand dollars here, a couple thousand dollars there. Yeah, they take a bit more effort, a lot more effort than the thousand dollars um, stream of income, but at the same time, that little extra work that, that you did definitely made it now worthwhile now that second stream of income let's say pr produces you five thousand dollars a month you know what i'm saying and, and the money train is pretty much the main thing that's going on but that that trickle stream it took a bit longer but it's creating you almost the same amount as that those six streams of income so now it's only two streams of income but at the same time now that's producing you hundreds of thousands of dollars knowing that you have your one main stream that pretty much took the longest to actually curate but at the same time the second stream of income is kind of like a trickle one you know what i'm saying um like when i first started you know doing everything that i'm doing now like um even like back even back when i was working at target for example target wasn't my my mainstream income like i still bought a brand new bmw 335i 2015 gray red interior brand new it's a lease but at the same time i'm still affording it as far as i'm still paying 600 dollars a month for that one car you know what i'm saying and I was only getting paid three hundred dollars at Target, so it kind of people knew that yo, like, actually, this, this one person I said, yo, like, how how are you driving that brand new car when I know Target is not paying for that? And I was like, you're right, it's not paying for it because I had pretty much other streams that I, that I was working on at the time that pretty much produced me a bit more money. Back then, it was okay. So I had Target three hundred dollars. Um, 
I was trading, so that probably produced me about maybe two thousand dollars a week at times because I was having some, some decent days, but at the same time, like five hundred dollars here, five hundred dollars there, it added up. So I probably said like two hundred two thousand two thousand dollars a week. That's like eight k a month, um, and that was just flowing. That was just flowing. So I had the main money train at the time, which was trading. I had my like I. I considered like my job like my secondary which was a three hundred dollars you know what i'm saying and i and i was working on all the stuff like affiliate marketing and all these other things that pretty much you know made me take advantage of what i had going on so you had i had the mainstream which was trading i had the second stream which was my job and other trickle streams that were like little affiliate stuff here and those you know could be anywhere from a couple hundred dollars here, a couple hundred dollars there, a couple thousand dollars, a couple thousand dollars there, a couple thousand dollars there, depending on like what it was based on. You know what I'm saying? If it was an affiliate based around trading, cool. Like it was, I definitely got some, some kind of traction there because that's my main niche. So obviously I took fully advantage of that. You know what I'm saying? So my job wasn't even my main stream of income. You know what I'm saying? Like it was just a, a secondary thing to kind of like just. I'll, I guess I wasn't comfortable with just one stream as of yet, or even two streams. I felt like they were, they were, they were making money, but at the same time, it's kind of hard to just, you know, drop a guaranteed check. You know what I'm saying? So, when it comes down to it, you have to pretty much like focus on things that that has the ability to even make you, you know, a couple thousand dollars. Wait, well, not just a couple thousand dollars. Like, it has a high cap in the potential of that entire stream. Um, I, I don't want to put a number on it because at the same time, like $1,000 might seem big for some people. It might seem small for some people. But at the same time, I feel like just focus on streams that pretty much have a high cap in income. You know what I'm saying? Or even no cap in income. At the same time, like at least you're actually getting it out there to, and understanding that if you are focusing fully on a capped stream of income, that shouldn't be your, your mainstream then. That should be like secondaries or or you know like third fourth fifth streams and that kind of stuff at the same time like the main streams are the ones that pretty much have like no cap you know what i'm saying like my mainstream okay cool i have what i have trading i have wall street academy i have some aff affiliate stuff i have um little side project little investments um some property investments uh it's it's a bunch it's, it's a bunch of stuff but at the same time like i never try to make the the capped incomes streams be my primary as far as like i'm not focused on those i'm not focusing on trying to make those better and that kind of stuff like it is what it is you know what i'm saying because at the same time like if you try to actually put so much work into something that has a cap you're draining yourself when you could pretty much focus on that that mainstream income that pretty much has no cap and trying to reach the full potential of that mainstream so like you could pretty much you know be that person that, that, that brags about yeah man i got eight eight streams of income ten streams of income but they're they're low income streams you know what i'm saying you got to have your 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 main money trade that that main stream of income which pretty much produces you know an unlimited amount of money and then you have your trickles which which are pretty much you know some some, some small stuff you know what i'm saying but at the same time make the main one take the most amount of time make the main one you know be your main focus make the main one take up most of your time as far as like with en enhancements and all these other things that pretty much come along with making an income stream better but at the same time just try to understand as to what is the potential income cap for that stream of income that you're actually focused on you know what i'm saying try to actually always focus on the one that has no cap and then dabble in the ones that do have a cap just to add it on to the stream of income you know what i'm saying it might be like some small streams that could take care of some bills here some bills there and that kind of stuff but at the same time you know that bill is not even relevant anymore because it's being taken care of by that low stream of income you know what i'm saying the high streams can you know give you investments and properties and all these other things that can pretty much then shift your life in some kind of way the low streams of income is not going to really do too much for you yeah it pays bills and that kind of stuff but it's not going to change your lifestyle it's not going to pretty much you know get you to a point that you can now go buy a house and you could do this and do that like big big lavish investments and that kind of stuff it's not going to do that so that's pretty much my q-tips for today you know what i'm saying you could have multiple income streams but if they're low income streams it's not going to really get you anywhere it's not going to get you rich or anything like that have tiers in your income stream you know what i'm saying you have your mains you have your trickles you have 
all those side projects and that kind of stuff which are still streams but low income streams but they're still streams but put the most amount of time the most amount of effort into that main money train that has unlimited amounts of income that you can create from that from there you can pretty much dabble in the side stuff and still have fun at the same time and still could still consider those income streams but not your main one you know what i'm saying so that's my q-tips for today um multiple streams of income will not will, will not guarantee that you will be rich but it could definitely put you on, on that path to being rich if you pretty much organize it right main money trains and trickles all right so that's about it for today guys q-tip fridays so i'm gonna holler at you guys